So Graham, uh, momentum's been with us the last couple of matches. Uh, it's always good to come away and get a win. We didn't quite get it today, but how would you rate today's performance? Well, we were disappointed first half, particularly. Um, after two good performances, as you say, certainly the game against Sidmouth and then the, an outstanding performance last week against a very, very good uh, St Austell side. There was an upward trend in our performances and uh, we wanted to continue that today. Um, first half was disappointing because uh, there was a lack of intent and purpose and we allowed Tiverton too much time and space on the ball and allowed them just too much momentum uh, and we were always on the back foot and quite rightly 21-10 down at half time the, the, the play was very much in their, in their hands. Second half we came out and, uh, and played with a lot more purpose, um, we, we were more physical in our, in our tackling, made more impact tackles, halted their momentum and got, got ourselves back in the game. And uh, at, at one point, you know, it looked like you know, there, was, there was every chance of us uh, getting a good result out of the game. But we, we just fell off a, a little bit at the end. But uh, as you say, second half was, uh, was a terrific effort. Was, uh, what are your performances today from some new, newer faces in the squad? How would you rate their performance? Well, it was great that uh, we gave the opportunity to Archie Roberts to come in at fullback, back um, 17, 18 year old lad that uh, played his first game for the, club, for the first team today and uh, he acquitted himself brilliantly. And Oscar Gay in his first start at hooker, uh, I thought he showed great physicality, work rate, made a huge amount of tackles, he carried the ball really well and made a big impact in the game. Uh, Piers, uh, came on at uh, half time. Tom Vincent came on at half time. David Burroughs came on, and and all stepped up the pace and uh, added a little bit more impetus for us. And finally, Falmouth are pretty safe in mid table now, but next week's opponents are not. It's going to be a tasty match next week in the recreation ground. Well, it's really important. We 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 keep striving for improved performances. You know, that's the nature of it. We we don't want to sit on our on our heels and. Uh, and just let the, the season filter out and uh, next week's going to be a huge game, huge game for us in terms of bouncing back from today and a huge game for Truro in, um, in their relegation uh, battle.